I think that um, it is uh, it casts a very bad image on Ghana's reputation as a democracy, and so uh, uh, definitely in our next uh, next state report, whether by U.S. State Department or which of Freedom House and so on, uh, uh, Ghana's rating is going to go down because of this uh, brutality which has been meted out to uh, citizens. And the back stops with the president. He's a commander in chief, and he himself has said it before that in such situations. That is what should happen. And your, your, your slides talk about how there has been a pattern of brutality. And what is very um, in, in important to note is that in this case, in the war case, uh, to my extent, to some extent, to the drug case and so on, the, the soldiers may have gone on a frolic of their own. But this one was uh, an, a so-called intelligence-led operation orchestrated by the military high command. and. Whether it went haywire or not, which I don't believe mm. that was the case, it, something has gone wrong and somebody should own up. Mm. And so far, nobody has owned up and the president should do so. So not saying anything at all is very, very unfortunate. Prof, and it's Prof I'll, I'll, of, make, uh, I'll make this confession to you. In the course of the week since this happened, I've had numerous calls from respected statesmen and women have had calls from even outside of this country. And among the impression is that if the right thing is not done by the leadership, it is the Ghanaian citizen, civil society, and respected voices like yours and Professor Kwesienin to blame because you seem to treat this, and the media more particularly, you seem to treat this as another normal occurrence. That's why you have had as many as 10 recorded in less than three years under the watch of a human rights lawyer as president. That, that's right. That, that is why, for example, we are looking at um, going external as well, because we, we want to make sure that the image of Ghana is, is protected and held intact. And we also want to make sure that these brutalities are not normalized. They are not accepted as a rule. I've also received a number of messages that say that I'm on the wrong side of the fence and that the people need to be treated the way they have been treated. Again, this idea of a shaman being um, a den of thieves and criminals is portrayed that we need to put sense into them, the police, are ineffective, incompetent, corrupt. Therefore, the army should do the job for them. And, I'm, and my response is, hello, aren't we living in a democratic dispensation? The soldiers, there's a, what we call accountability. And the soldiers are supposed to be accountable to a civilian authority. And the civilian authority is the commander in chief. And he should make sure that by this time, there would have been some dismissals and uh, if people would not resign, there would have been some dismissals. He would have at least made a statement. The thing that, the thing that has been sanctioned by the high command, who is doing what dismissals? Of course, um, there, there is a commander in chief, because if they would talk to him that maybe they said it was a, an intelligence-led operation, but it has proven that it wasn't an intelligence-led operation. It was a soup, and which led to many innocent people almost everybody who was arrested. And what did they find? Some slabs of cocaine and so on. That is not what they were going to look for. So the government, the president should own up and he should dissociate himself from the statement made by the Minister of Defense and the, mini the Deputy Minister to say that, no, this is not how um, this process should have gone. This is not how the operation should have been orchestrated. So you are suspended, you are dismissed. There are rules, there are tribunals under the Security and Intelligence Act, mm. the Armed Forces Act, the Police Service Act. There are rules there. The Constitution tells about the responsibilities of the police. And, 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 and that should also be one place to look at, the, the shaking of responsibility on the part of the police for not coming out and taking any action to ensure that these soldiers mm. are also um, dealt with according to the criminal laws of the country. 